Hi. You want to be in the video too? Okay. Can you say hi? Okay. channel I have such a fun video planned for you today I'm sharing items that I use daily these are things that I pick up and use every single day and I can't wait to share them with you they would make such good Christmas gifts to your list so I have lots of fun things to share today and I can't wait to get started the first on my list of must-haves is something that you probably would see me carrying around if you were to ever run into me it's this cup so this is the Yeti I think it's the 16 ounce tumbler, but it's the smaller of the two sizes and I absolutely love carrying this around. It keeps my drinks cold for so long. I keep this on my nightstand next to my bed at night because it keeps your water so cold overnight. Like I swear sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and it's still ice cold. It's just gonna be in this entire video. So if you see her jumping, tumbler initially didn't come with this straw and lid top. I got the straw and lid set on a pack at, from Amazon and it came with two lids and then two plastic straws and then two metal straws. I personally, even though I'm like a big advocate for metal straws, like the plastic one better because the hole is bigger so I can drink more water at once. Every time I go to get ice. So you have to give her some because she goes crazy over it. I swear, she thinks ice are treats. <laughs> right? You like your ice? You're so cute. So a little bit of a close up on the cup. And then this is the straw set. So I just put that in there and I'm good to go. Next on my must have list is my Google Home Mini. I leave it plugged into my island. I initially had one in my bathroom and I honestly think I could still use one there, but since I've been working from home, I love having it in the kitchen. You can ask it questions like, hey Google, how many fourths of a cup are in two ounces? Two fluid ounces is equivalent to 0 0.25 cups. To convert from fluid ounces to cups, divide unit of volume by eight. I love that you can ask it so many different things. It comes in handy a lot when you're cooking. And I love that I can set reminders for it. So I can say like, set a reminder to take the dog out at 4 p.m., which is so key for me because sometimes I'll be working and I totally forget that I need to take the dog out. So I love it in my kitchen. You can also tell it to play music, which is so nice because then like if someone's calling me on a conference call, I can be like, turn the music off and I don't have to go like fumbling from, to turn for my phone or anything like that. So it's definitely really beneficial to use in the kitchen. I have gotten along just fine with the mini version. So I know that there's some like taller ones like the Google Home Plus and like the Google Home Show that looks like almost like a little mini iPad. I have really liked this one. I don't think I would upgrade it to a different size. I think I get all the features that I would need out of it. And I think it's really discreet. Like sometimes when we have people over, I'll put it down here on this shelf so you can't see it on the counter. But during the week, I just really don't mind it on the counter at all. My Nespresso machine. I got this for Christmas almost two years ago and I love it. It is such a game changer when it comes to making coffee because you literally feel like a barista. You feel like you're fancy and have your own coffee shop. It makes it so easy to, to have really good coffee in the mornings. So how I do this, this, this is the size that I have. I'll link the exact model that I have. My mom accidentally ordered me the color blue. I probably wouldn't have picked that, but I was just too lazy to return it. Um, and I think it's fine. This is what mine came with, the frother. I got the frother and the coffee set, and that is so key because the frother, I swear, is what makes the coffee. This is what the frother looks like, and it has this little piece, detachment piece, and it just goes in there, and you just fill the milk in, and then you'll click this button once to have, if you're making hot coffee, and then twice if you're making iced coffee. Thought I would also share some of the pods that I love because it's so overwhelming. And I really honestly liked every pod that I've tried, but these are my three that I kind of rotate through. These are seasonal. These are the pumpkin pods and I love them. I only really drink them through October and November. These are the pods that I'll drink in the afternoon with iced coffee. I actually ordered these ones on Amazon and they are smaller than the typical pods. So this is, this is what the pods look like and 
what that's why I like it for the afternoon because it's just like a little bit of a pick me up. Audacio is what I usually drink throughout the year. And so this is the blue Nespresso one. <laughs> cups are from Target in the straw. It's actually from the straw set that I was just talking about that I got for the Yeti cups. So I love these cups. They're glass and they have like this like grip part on them. So I'll link them below. They come in tons of colors too. The entire Nespresso machine is so worth it. It's like the best thing ever. You will never go back. Just if you have a friend that has one, just try it because I guarantee you once you try it, you won't be able to stop. Okay, next on my list of things that I use daily is arm my keys naturally. This key ring is so useful. I love it because it's pink, obviously, but it's also like jelly. So I feel like some of the ones I've seen in the past were like leather and they like tore and got damaged really easily where this one I, has not tarnished or anything at all. It also came with a bunch of clips, which I really liked. It came with this tassel keychain that matches. And then I got this Z keychain from Amazon. You can completely customize the letters and things. So I thought that was just like cute. So I'll link the both the tassel and the letter below, but it's just so easy to just like keep on your wrist, especially when I'm like bringing in groceries from the car or like taking the dog out, things like that. It's just really nice to be like hands-free. And I feel like I lose my keys less when they're like in my purse because I'm not having to like dig for them. I just can just like easily find them because they're now like more bulky. When Pierce drives my car, he doesn't like that this hangs because like when the key is in, this hangs, which I guess wouldn't be a problem if your car was hands-free, but this was like his concern is that this part hangs, but I always just put it over the it's like the windshield wiper thing, you know, that you turn. So I just always put it over that so nothing's hanging. So even though these are like a bulkier set of keys, it's not annoying to me. What I also really like about these particular keys is that the little key rings that came with it are honestly like little carabiner clips. So it's really easy if I'm like gonna go for a run or something or like drive and I don't wanna have the thing hanging down, I can take it off in like seconds it's just really easy to take on and take off highly recommend one of these they come in a million colors but naturally i got the pink one next on my list of favorite things is my phone case obviously i use this daily because i'm carrying it around all the time but this is a loopy case i had never used one of these before my previous phone case was a pop socket and what i didn't like about the pop socket is that i was always using my pinky to support my phone and I, with this case, I can put all my fingers in the back to support it and I don't have to use my pinky. Part is connected to the phone case, so it doesn't ever come off or detach. Whereas the pop socket, it's like a sticker almost. So I feel like I, that would make me nervous sometimes. Where this, I literally will never drop my phone with it. It's never going to come off. I carry my phone a lot with just like this and it'll my middle finger through the loop and i'll just carry it i can also do it this way which is nice because then you can physically carry something else like a cup or something it's been the best phone case i've honestly ever had because it's just so useful what i also like about it too that was like kind of a disservice that the pop socket had was that it's not it fits in your pocket so much easier because this loop part is super like bendable and it'll easily like squish down so that you can stick it into your pocket whereas the pop socket it's like you had this giant little circle magnet thing that was like sticking out of your pants pocket so 
Really recommend the loopy case if you haven't tried it. Now we're in my bathroom because this is where this lives because I'm always needing it on the go. It's this super fast charger. It's actually from Apple and it came with my iPhone, but I know you can order it separately. This has a name. It's something, it's like this is the port that goes into it um, and it's super fast. I've never had a charger that can charge my phone in like under 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how little juice is left, but it works so well. And so I keep it in my bathroom because I feel like I'm always about to run out the door and I look down at my phone and I'm like, I'm supposed to leave in 10 minutes and my phone's on 20%. So I keep it in the bathroom so that I can charge my phone quickly. And because I feel like I want my phone, if I'm about to run out the door, I need to like play music or like see if someone's texting me that I'm running late type thing. And it has this blue thing on it. It's just my name because so many people try to steal it and I'm so scared I'm gonna lose it because it's just that good. Pierce and I fight over this charger anytime that we're together. And I have turned so many of my friends onto it because it just works so quickly. It's the best. If your phone didn't come with it, I highly suggest investing in one. I really wanna invest in another one because I use it all the time. What's also really a cool feature about it is that it won't charge your phone to 100% if you're charging it overnight or something because it'll it which is also better for your phone because your phone sitting at 100 percent charge is like apparently not good for it but this will like turn your phone off basically or like charge it till like 90 percent and then charge it the last 10 percent before your alarm turns off i don't know way too much technology for me but it does work and apparently is better for your phone like longevity life so i really want to get another one so that i can charge my phone overnight with it to try to like keep my phone really recommend this guy. That's all I have for today, but I really hope you've loved this video. I've been trying to make YouTube videos every Thursday, and now that I said it, it has to be true. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram. I will leave all of my handles for all of my social media platforms below, including my blog, which is where I spend the majority of my time creating content. So be sure to check out all of those things, and then also my Amazon storefront. Um, I love linking things for you guys, so it lives there as well. Leave me some love in the comments. I love hearing from you guys, and Look forward to making my next video soon.